does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate or Kali and I am here on YouTube bringing you videos about fitness, wellness, health, nutrition, and all sorts of subjects like that. This video is going to be five tips on running your very first 5K. I just ran my first 5K today, actually. Uh, if you're interested in seeing any of that journey, I did make a vlog series, Couch to 5K in Three Weeks, uh, that I put out all the way leading up to my run today. So, I was really new to the world of running. I've never been an endurance athlete. I've never been a runner. In fact, I've really hated running. I've always done uh, like hit style workouts. Um, and even so I play roller derby and that's two minute intervals. Typically the longest that you're going to be on the track on skates is two minutes and then you'll get, you know, 30 second to two minute break, sometimes even all the way up to like a four or um, six minute break. Uh, and I do yoga and I do aerial silks and I've done MMA before. So a lot of different um, sports that don't require long term endurance. So this was a challenge for me. Uh, so I want to pass on the knowledge that I have gained throughout this experience to you out there in YouTube land. Tip number one is to find a program. So all I did was go onto my phone and look up um, Couch to 5K. Typically they recommend that you do like a 10 week prep or so. I only had three weeks. So I basically found like a 10 week or it was a five week actually, five week prep plan and I just did the bottom three weeks. Um, and that worked out pretty well for me. I mean, it was tough. It was a lot of training. It was a lot of effort that I put in, but it, it got me to where I was today, which for those of you curious, um, first ever 5K that I've run, my goal was to run the entire time. And I did that and was very proud of myself for that. And I even met my secondary goal, which was to uh, complete the run in 30 minutes. And I got 30 minutes and 40 seconds, I believe. And I was very happy with that. Tip number two would be to um, start on the treadmill so you can kind of see where you're at and then progress to the track. That's what I did anyways. And it worked really well for me. Um, I loved the treadmill because I was able to watch uh, my time and my speed and uh, kind of give myself a little bit of like motivation. You know, you've only got five more minutes, just run at this speed for five minutes and then you can decrease your speed. So I could really like force myself to run at a specific pace and then I could decrease it um, as I got closer to the time. And then I hit the track the week before the race and only did track running the week before the race. My third tip is to create a playlist. So I really struggled with um, the mental game of, sorry, my nails are terrible. I really struggled with the mental game of running, of endurance running. Um, I would just think, you know, like how much longer, when is this going to end? And uh, so I was worried because when I'm on the treadmill, I could count down the time. I could say, okay, you've only got two minutes left. Okay, you've only got half a mile left. But out there on the trail, you don't have that, obviously. So I created a playlist and I used that playlist the entire week leading up to the race. And I could use it to tell like how far along I was. So, you know, I also did it and I had like each song is roughly three minutes. So all I need is 10 songs. Um, and then was able to tell by my playlist kind of where I was at. So I knew what my finisher was and I knew kind of like what my middle of the road songs were. 
And obviously, like, that beginning song gave me that, like, okay, it's time to run now um, mental click, which is something that works. It's in sports psychology. We talk about um, external cues that get our minds and our bodies functioning at the peak performance. Tip number four is to take care of your body. Hydrate. So 120 ounces of fluid a day, especially the week of the race. It's really important that you hydrate more than normal. So if you're one of those people that's like, oh yeah, I kind of sip on water throughout the day, like start tracking it. Track it during your journey so that you know that you're getting 120 ounces without a doubt. Uh, same goes for stretching and rolling out. One of the biggest hiccups I had in my journey was that I'm not very good at that kind of self-care. And so I was finding myself running shorter distances and shorter times because I wasn't stretching out. So I was in pain. I was getting shin splints. I wasn't rolling my muscles out. So I was getting cramps. And it really does hinder your performance if you don't stretch and roll out. I uh, committed to doing it for about 10 minutes or so every night at the end of the day uh, just while like watching Netflix and so or something I would just lay on my mat and stretch out grab my foam roller and roll out uh, and used ice cups for my shin splints so a frozen cup of ice in the fridge and roll that up and down uh, on my shins to relieve that um, I started taking ibuprofen as well uh, but I never stopped stretching and same goes for nutrition uh, make sure that you're fueling properly with good, complex carbs, healthy fats full of omega-3s, and plenty of protein, okay? So no uh, macro fear here. Uh, we do macro-balanced meals. I make sure that I get about 50% carbs, 25% fat, and 25% protein. Tip number five is to run for a cause that you care about. I know that for me, uh, I ran for Shatterproof. So this is the shirt that I bought today at the race. Um, Shatterproof is an organization that supports addiction and recovery. And this is something that's really, really close to my heart. I actually used to work in uh, an alcohol and other drug addiction detox center, helping people medically detox off of substances. And uh, personally, I've had uh, a substance abuse within my friends and family um, my whole life so it's a cause that's really really dear to my heart and uh, as I was training and as I was running I was able to remind myself why I was doing it and um, a lot of times thought you know there's people out there that are still struggling there's people that have come so far and if they can do what they have done and come as far as they have within their recovery and their struggle with addiction, then I can run three miles. You know, it's nothing. And I think the same thing goes for, you know, running for cancer and for like St. Jude's Children's Hospitals or like MS, things like that. Run for a cause that matters to you, especially for your first 5K. Make it something that's dear to your heart because then when you really start to want to give up, you can use that to push you through. Um, Chatterproof was really awesome because they had little like signs along the trail that had statistics and facts and um, things like that, motivational things, um, like quotes about recovery and stuff along the trail that really, really helped to push me through when I was starting to fatigue. Um, so that's my final tip. I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you're interested in seeing more uh, fitness vlogs and what I eat in a day uh, type style videos go ahead and subscribe um, leave me a comment let me know if you have any other tips uh, if you are interested in being my friend and want to follow me uh, my Instagram handle will be in the description below and probably in the end card here um, I want to thank you guys again so much for being here. Good luck on your journey. If you do decide to start training for a 5K, let me know and let's talk about it because I know that the most surprising thing I found through this journey was that I want to keep running. And again, not a runner. I've always hated running. And all of a sudden, after three weeks of training, I can't wait to find my next 5K and eventually maybe build up to half marathons, marathons, warrior runs. Uh, Tough Mudders, all that stuff. So I'm so excited to continue on this journey and I hope that some of you guys will come with me. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you so much. Bye.